find a place of rest. Amen. There is hope. There is joy. There is contentment in Christ. Amen. Apart from Christ, we are miserable. No, not too long ago, and I'm sure you will remember this. Just a few years ago, though, remember the genocide in Rwanda between the Tutsis and the Hutus? And most of the killings were done in churches. And the people went to the church for a place of refuge. And most of the killings were done in churches. Those who were doing the killing would take time off to pray and then go and do some more killing. Can you imagine that? Where, where we will find refuge, where we will find safety, where we will feel that we are loved and we are cared for, where we want to be uplifted and strengthened. It's not so anymore. Now, there, there may not be the avenger on the outside, but as it was back in those days when the cities of refuge were set up. But who is the avenger today? Mm. My question is, to us, who is running after us today? <clears throat> Anybody else? Like a roaring lion. Huh? Like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. First Peter 5 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. <clears throat> now, you're right. But I'm going to take it a little step further. Now, remember Joshua the high priest stood before God to represent the people before God? Who was standing next to him? The devil was standing to accuse him, amen? He was not, he's the accuser of the brethren. Now, that might be true, but one of these days, the avenger is going to die. As a matter of fact, he had already been done for. He got beat in heaven. Amen. And when Christ came down here, he got beat again. Amen. So he has lost his rights. He cannot practice law anymore. He has been dethroned. Amen. So we need to kill the avenger. Kill that individual who is accusing you. But we need to thank the avenger because sometimes our whole conscience, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Is telling us that we are not at ease. We are not, we are not to feel comfortable in sin, amen. Right. We have to go to a place of safety. And our safety is in Christ, amen. amen. Not in things that we possess, not in the toys that we have, not in our job, not in our in our spouse, but our only safety is in Christ, amen. amen. Because one of these days, friend of mine, every top will have to sit on its own bottom, amen. You have to know that you know that you know that Christ is your security. Now this morning you're talking about Job. And I heard part of the discussion in the lesson. And uh, someone was saying, well, why did this have to happen to Job? I want us to know Job was unaware of what was going on. But had it not been for Job's story, there are countless of individuals who look back on what Job went through and they receive strength, amen? Yes. And they receive comfort because not everything that happens to you is about you, amen? Oh. <laughs> now, friend of God, God loves us, amen? And He chose us not because of our strength, not because we are good looking, but because of our weakness. Amen. Because we are weak and feeble. That's the only way that God can save us is bringing us in here, amen? And had it not been for the church, I don't know where would I be or what I would be doing right now. But thank God for the city of refuge, amen? Amen. Have you ever woke up one night and you feel there's a chill and you feel scared and you feel just a dropping down on the knees and crying out to God? Because you feel a sense of emptiness, there, there's something missing in your life, and, and, and the only time of, the only place you can find safety is in Christ. Have you ever felt like that, friend of mine? Have you already felt scared that, that your life is not right with the Lord? That you need to know that you are on solid foundation, amen? 
you are the firm foundation and that you are, you are building on Christ. Amen. Sometimes, thank God for the avenger. Amen. Because had it not been for the avenger, you would not be running to Christ. Amen. So we need to thank God for the avenger. Now what I'm trying to say, friend of mine, these lessons have spiritual application because the high priest has that. He's officiating on our behalf right now, but one of these days, he's going to put off his priestly garment and put on his kingly robe. Amen? Yes. And the city of refuge is, is going to be a golden city because John says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Amen? That's our place of refuge. Amen? Because Abraham did not look for a parcel of land in Palestine. He looked for a heavenly country whose builder, whose architect, is God himself. Amen? Yes. Amen. And the only time we can, we can leave because when, 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 when Christ puts on his kingly robe, and he'll be coming down through the corridors of time. And friend of my what the devil rejoicing that's going to be. Amen? Yes. Because the devil is in our backs. And someone said that, when you, when you said to the devil, get thee me, get me behind me, Satan, don't look back. Because he is there. Amen? Mm. Mm. We are bombarded and we, we are buffeted by the winds of strife. And I know what you feel, my sister, when you say uh, about feeling secure about your kids in school. You know, it, it's, it's a terrible feeling. No. Our only safety and our only security is in Jesus. Amen? That's it. There is no system designed to protect all of us. The only protection we have is in the angels of God, amen, that excel in strength, amen. And whatever happens, knowing that whatever happens to us, God sees it beforehand, amen. amen. Nothing happens to us with him not knowing. So we can still trust in Jesus, amen, and still give him security. And because Job said, even though... I die, even though I won't destroy this body, this flesh. I know that my will be my living amen, because his refuge was in the God who created him, amen. Mm -hmm. I know that my Redeemer lived, and one of these days, I'm going to see him with my own eyes, amen. amen. This friend of mine needs to be our hope. Amen. Our refuge is in Christ, amen. amen. The time is coming when, when the system is going to fail us. Yes, we live in a beautiful country today. We have the comfort and the ease of life. But the time is coming when, when, when we go, we're going to have to run for our lives. Amen? Mm. And our only safety is in Christ. Amen? Yes. It doesn't matter what the devil can do to the body. But if our life is hidden in Christ, we're going to find it again. Amen? Yes. Our life is to be hid in Christ. Amen. And we gotta know, we gotta spend more time in prayer, more time in the study of the word of God. It's not just a play with words. It's a, it's a reason why it's written. It's written for our learning, for our admonition, for our hope, for our comfort. Amen. Amen. And let's not go back. I can't in, in my mind imagine why people would, would leave. There is nowhere else to go after you discover the truth. After you discover what is clean and unclean, what we should put in our bodies because we are bought with a price. This is not our own, amen. There is nothing out there. I've been out in the world, amen. There is absolutely nothing out there. That's right. If we have Christ, we have everything, amen. amen. I know what it's like doing drugs and having your own way and getting into fights. I laid up in hospital beds many times. I know what it's like doing your own stuff. And that's what sin is, doing your own thing, instead of doing God's thing, amen? amen? Sin is having your own way. But when we are in the city of refuge, we cannot do as we please. We are not free to live, amen? We are the mercy of the high priest. If you leave, the avenger is on the outside. But I thank God for Jesus, amen? amen. Yes. I thank God. Even if you... Even if you 
And I believe that there is none of us here this today who have not done something that we know it was wrong and we still do. And you want to know that there is there is some kind of comfort. There's a place that you there's a place of refuge, amen, because we were once blinded by sin. Amen. But thank God that light has come, amen. And and, and we have security in Christ. We have peace in Jesus, amen. amen. We have hope. And we can face the future unafraid. David said, I was young, and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging for bread. Amen. Right. And if God did it for them, He can do it for you and I. So whatever you are going through, my friend of mine, whatever you are facing, and, and I someone I heard someone say this morning, when when they went to the doctor and the diagnosis came back, they they scared of the big C. You know, and that, that's, a, that, that's a term to be scared of. Cancer. Can you imagine what someone would go through someone's mind after hearing those news? You know you're going to die. It's just a matter of time. All of us are going to die. But if we die in Christ, we'll live again. we we'll live again. Amen? Amen? It will be well with us. So it's not only important how we live, it's important how we die. Amen? We're going to die in Christ. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. What day of rejoicing is going to be when he comes again. Amen. The place of refuge is in Christ. Amen. Amen. I invite you, friend of mine, if you want to stay with Jesus and you mean business with him, never to leave the, this place of refuge. Stand as we say in the closing hymn.
a close friend of mine, while you were running to the city of refuge and you should come to an intersection, there, by law, there was a sign that said, which way, city of refuge. The streets were cleared daily. The smallest pebble was moved out of the way. The, 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 the street was level so that you had, you had a, a, a access to the city of refuge, amen? amen? So when Christ has come to me, friend of mine, he gives us the power, the strength to come to him, not in our own strength, but in his strength, amen? He makes the way clear. He paved the way, <coughs> he cleared the debris, and he sent the Holy Spirit, and, and we hear a small voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk in it. May we stay with Christ, no matter what happens. Our only security is in Jesus, amen. amen. As every head is born and every eye is closed. <clears throat> Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Keep us safe, O oh Lord. Keep us ever in your presence. We know that you will not leave us. We know that you will not let us go. But we can take our hands out of your hands. But we are saying, Lord, strengthen us where we are weak. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. In our ignorance, O oh Lord, give us wisdom, give us insight. And may we find our refuge always in Christ. May we walk through those pearly gates soon and very soon. Where there will be no one who will say, I am sick. There will be no one who will be blind or deaf or dumb. There will be no one who need, a, who need medication, but all will be right. Lord, we long for that day, we long for that place. Not to be the 144,000, but to be the great multitude. Whatever is your love, Lord, just save us in your eternal kingdom. For what a terrible thing it will be to be lost. After all that Christ has done for us, there is nothing more that He can do. But He has done everything. He gave, you gave all heaven in giving Christ. So may we find our constant refuge in Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to us as we conclude this meeting. Dismiss us, O oh Lord, with your choicest blessings. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Praise God.